The homeboys bus that crashed and killed 56 people at the Fort and Black Spot in Carrico County was on an illegal night run, Police Inspector General Joseph Boynett said yesterday. Police are seeking the owner and SICO officials for violating traffic rules. Carrico County Police Commander James Mugra said the accident occurred after the brakes failed and the driver lost control of the bus descending the Black Spot area. It rolled several times tumbling into a steep valley along the londiani muharoni kisama road, witnesses said. It is suspected the driver of the ill-fated bus lost control as it was going downhill a few meters before the flyover. He was attempting to negotiate the sharp bend at the flyover but failed, Mugara said. The roof of the bus was ripped off due to impact as the vehicle rolled downhill. The accident scene was littered with bloodied luggage and belongings of passengers, and debris. Mugara said villagers and the rescue team responded swiftly but it took more than one hour to retrieve some bodies trapped inside the mangled bus. The driver has not been accounted for, he said. The Kakamika bound bus operated under the Western Cross Express but the SICO has no office at the Makako's upcountry PSV terminus. None of the SICO's officials were at the yard where the six homeboys buses park. The accident seems to have been jinxed from the word go with survivors talking of a long delay, overloading and dizzying speeds as they hurtled toward death. Preliminary investigations indicated that the 52-seater bus was carrying more than 70 passengers. A tout at the Macaco's bus station said most of the passengers were open-air market traders and hawkers who buy goods in Nairobi to sell in markets in Kakamiga. Drivers and touts at the station recalled the final moments with the bus driver, saying he was jovial. They said he was experienced, competent and always sober. Other passengers were touts traveling for the funeral of their friends killed in another accident involving a Climax Sicko bus that killed 12 people in Nakaru on September 30th. The 5 a.m. accident yesterday occurred at the tunnel flyover area. 52 passengers died on the spot, while others died on the way to various hospitals. The police initially put the death toll at 50 but Kericho Chief Medical Officer Dr. David Ikwam said 52 bodies were received at Kericho County Referral Hospital Mortuary. By last evening the number had hit 56. The facility, with a capacity of 24 bodies, was overstretched, forcing the morgue attendants to pile bodies on the floor. Dr. Ikwam said the bodies of 29 men, 14 women and 9 children were at the mortuary awaiting identification by relatives. We have received 52 bodies of the passengers from the accident at Fortinan. We have established a desk outside the hospital where relatives of the victims can seek information concerning their loved ones, he added.